Hi, my name is Jonathan Breda from Japanese Knife Imports, and today we're going to cover the names of knives in Japanese and a little bit about what each knife is used for. Uh, so in this video we're going to cover uh, single bevel or kataba knives um, and starting with actually a more useful word uh, the name of the sheath that is used to cover the knife is Saya. This first knife that we're looking at is called Yanagiba. Yanagiba is used for slicing fish and other kinds of proteins uh, pretty much anything without bones in it. It's used generally in long pooling cuts uh, and also the tip region or kisaki can be used for a lot more delicate work or finishing cuts. Uh, this is what you'll see a lot of people using for uh, cutting up fish for sushi or sashimi uh, in preparation of all kinds of proteins in Japan. This next knife is called Deba. Deba is used for filleting fish and some other heavy duty tasks in the kitchen. Um, when it's used for filleting or sanmai oroshi it's used being held like this and fillets come off very clean um, basically because the function of single bevel knives keeps no pressure on this side of the ura and uh, has pressure on the food on the side with the bevel. Uh, so deba is used for mostly filleting fish and uh, some other heavier duty tasks in the kitchen. Again the kisaki or tip region is used for a lot of work and the heel is actually used for heavier duty work as most chefs will put a micro bevel on the front and back of the heel of these knives uh, to give it added strength uh, while using it. This next knife is called Kamagata Usuba or Usuba. Kamagata Usuba refers specifically to this kind of rounded off tip here. Usuba actually refers more specifically to the square tip version that is normally found in the Kanto region. This is in the Kansai region. Uh, this is a knife used mostly for vegetable work or delicate vegetable work. Um, the Kamagata Usuba Bocho is used also for mukimono sometimes because it has a more functional tip. Mukimono is the garnishing or design cutting for vegetables and fruits. Uh, this knife is used mostly in a thrust cutting or push cutting manner. Uh, thrust cutting meaning you're actually having this diagonal motion where the blade is parallel to the board or push cutting would be pushing directly down although you see a lot less of that. Uh, you see this for making thin slices of uh, for example onions or doing six-sided cuts of vegetables or that kind of work with vegetables. This next knife is called Miyoroshi Deba. Miyoroshi Deba are specialized Deba uh, they're actually a hybrid between uh, deba and yanagiba, so it's a dual use knife. Uh, it has less blade height than deba and generally is a little bit longer in length for functional uses than deba. Um, it's thinner at the spine too. So it can be used for filleting fish and also can be used for slicing fish in a pinch. Uh, most of the knives, they're like dual purpose knives, aren't spectacular at either job but they're functional for either one. So you'll see the same thing with another knife that we'll talk about a little bit later. I actually like Miyoroshi Deba because I find them to be uh, more agile as I use them. Uh, but for many types of filleting fish, it helps to have a Hon Deba. This next knife is called Funayuki. Or uh, this particular one that Jonathan has uh, in hand is called Suishin Ginsan Momiji Funayuki. So the Funayuki is another kind of Deba except it's a lot thinner um, and therefore it's used generally for smaller fish uh, like aji or that kind of thing. Um, some people will also use these as all-purpose knives but they're very thin around the edge. They can sometimes be brittle or delicate. This last knife is called Kiritsuke or Kiritsuke Yanagiba. This one is actually a Kiritsuke Yanagiba uh, but Kiritsuke is essentially the same thing with more blade height. The Kitsuke is a knife that was designed as a combination of Yanagiba and Usuba. So whereas the Miyoroshi Deba was a combination of Yanagiba and Deba, the Kitsuke is a dual function knife uh, for both vegetable slicing and mukimono and also slicing fish. Uh, this one obviously is more just for the slicing fish, um, but can also be used for vegetable knives and the flatter profile helps out a lot when you're doing things like Katsuramuki, which is the uh, thin slicing of daikon where you have a sheet of daikon being peeled off. So, that covers the names of some of the single bevel knives that you might commonly see in kitchens. 
Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is John at Japanese Knife Imports.